Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I'm back doing what I do best, busting up some old school wax packs. I got a fresh new box of 1991 Tops. This is the 40th anniversary of Tops Baseball here, so that was a year where they put a bunch of vintage cards in there. I'm not really on the hunt for these vintage cards, although it'd be awesome to pull one out. Um, and all the high dollar ones are redemption cards anyway, which are now expired. But what I do, what, what I do love about the 91 top set is it's so intriguing are the variations, errors, and the glowback and non-glowback. So let me tell you what I'm talking about here. So I have two example cards here. These look like normal 1991 Topps Commons card, Mike Moore and Kevin Chiral Calvin Chiraldi. On the back, you can see this Calvin Chiraldi has a watermark, Topps 40th logo here. And it's a little darker than the watermark that is still there, but only lightly exists on the Mike Moore. So that's one variation. There's, there's kind of a whole set with light back and dark back. So that's one variation. And then we have, these are both glowback actually, um, but these are the glowback versions. So you can see that when I shine a black light on them, they glow. So there's also non-glowback versions. So if you're a master set builder for 1991 tops, you have at least four full sets of 792 cars that you need to put together to have the master set. And that's not even including the uh, specific or acute variations here. I have a list here of errors and, and variations for Chris Hoyles, uh, Oil Can Boyd, Jose Gonzalez, Keith Comstock, Mark Witten, Russ Chamberlain, Doug Dravick, and Scott Coolbaugh. So those are the ones I'm looking for. I'm also doing a larger exploration again with the glowback, non-glowback, and dark versus uh, light back here. Um, so that's why I'm super excited to have this box. I got it for, what was it, $13 on eBay plus $12 shipping. So it puts me at $25 bucks for the box, which is really the maximum that I'll pay for a box like this. Uh, so we're going to rip through this whole box. And well, let's, first let's see if, yep, these are glow back down here for the, uh, the bottom of the box ones. And on the bottom of the box, we've got Brett Butler, Andre Dawson, Burt Blylevin, and George Brett. Oh no. I just dumped them all out. All right, so we're going to do nine packs here, searching specifically for those variations I have on my list. And then we'll just do a quick look and see if the majority are light back, dark back, glow back, non glow back. And um, what I learned last time I did this was that it's not like, oh, this whole box will be glow back and light back. It's all over the place. So it really makes me wonder like how they put these together. All right, well, let's dive in and see what we got. So we can already tell we have light back here. For this first Willie Randolph, we got some gum stuck to that one. All right, so let's just take a quick perusal on the back here. These are all light back, it looks like. Yeah, and these are all glow back. Yeah, all glow back, all light back. So that's an interesting pack there. All right, now let's take a look and see if we can pull out anything that's worth looking at here. Craig Wilson. Juggle, oh, Craig Wilson juggling. There you go. That's nice. Joe Ursulak, Jim Abbott, Mike Fitzgerald, Willie Randolph. Here are the instant win game cards. I'm going to put those aside. And the people, so people actually collect these too as a part of their master set building because you can see um, A, 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, A, B, C. There are different um, versions of those. So again, another variable for any master set builders out there. All right, so there's a Cal Ripken Jr. So that's uh, our first Hall of Famer, it's our star card. So one star card, all light back, all glow back, no errors or variations. Pack one. Some gum. Yuck. All right. Again, all light back. It might be that this, I mean, again, maybe what I just said about them all being uh, different, maybe that flies in the face because these are all light back, all glow back so far. All right, so there is our instant win card. There's a Jose Canseco. 
All right, so Scott Coolbaugh, here's our first arrow. You can see this one has the light pink feather on his cap. It's not really a feather, but it's just like a printing error. So this is the feather cap Scott Coolbaugh. There. There's Daryl Strawberry. Tuffy Rhodes, since a rookie card ran. Okay. So I'm glad to see we got our first uh, variation here. That's fun. Now, I also am not talking about anything to do with the Desert Shield cards for those Master Set Builders because that's a whole... You, you can't get those in packs. Those are a uh, different beast entirely. So it looks like we are really going to be this light back, low back all the way through. So um, this whole box just might be all light back, low back. Also worth noting that the 1991 Bowman also has a glow back and non-glow back version. So some people are into collecting that set too. So Barry Barnes. This one's got two cards stuck together. For a Frank Bailo. Alright. Nothing exciting yet. You never know when you're gonna find what you're looking for. Really, that Doug Drabeck is the one that I'm most interested in finding. And honestly, I've been as I've been searching for Doug Drabeck on this, I've I've had you know I've never seen the, the actual one I'm looking for, which has a you see how Barry Bonds, who's also on the Pirates here, has a black. There are two borders. There's the the yellowish one on the outside, and then there's the black one on the inside. The Doug Drabeck I'm looking for has a white version instead of the black, and I've never actually seen it. But I also ever since I started looking for it. It's just hard to find Doug Drabeck's card, period, in here. So I haven't come across a lot of them. All right. Don Slot. Diner to Shields. And this is... That was a pretty bad pack. So far, we're striking out just kind of... Even if we were just busting these open to look for stars and people. And folks, it's a pretty, pretty bad... Um, not, not very good luck here. All right. Again, we're looking at all light backs. And this is a set that's definitely grown on me. At first, I wasn't a huge fan. There's a Paul Muller. Um, but it's turned into kind of a classic set. At some point, I'm going to show you guys my giant collection of 1991 tops that I, and then I'll run some stats. We'll count up the number of glowbacks, startbacks, lightbacks, etc., and kind of see if we can find out if one's rarer than the others. I know I did that once, but it was with a small sample set of maybe a few hundred. Now I've got a few thousand, I think, that I've amassed since then. So. Larger sample size will give us some better data in theory. Still not scientific because uh, it's just what I've randomly collected. I've not gone looking for specific things. All right, so, so far these are just really poor, poor performing packs here. Just not getting anything. Man, I mean, if if I were, I mean, they're not resealed. Because, number one, what are you really looking for in here? A Chipper Jones working for a dollar? Um, but number two, they have their cello, I mean, like their cellophane wrappers. They have gum still in them. It's clearly original. So, I'm not sure. It's just really bad luck, I think, is, is what we're seeing right now. It's probably Thigpen Record Blake Breaker, Ricky Jordan, Bob Welch, Wes Lancaster. Tommy Lasorda. This is just really, really bad. Really, really bad luck. Again, just checking. Yep, these are all light back. Is it Barry Larkin All Star card? See, this is the Doug Drabeck All-Star, which is not as helpful. Ron Gant. 
Brady Anderson, Ruben Sierra. So this has really been a, a pretty poor session here. Maybe we can get some last pack magic. Oh, this is John Smoltz. Himself on the back side. All right, let's see what we can do. John Allrood. The John Smoltz we just talked about. There's Yux Jose, Sparky Anderson, he's a Hall of Famer. Man, that was just, just a poor, poor session. Sorry, guys and gals, but uh, didn't find anything we were looking for. But we did get an interesting data point that all of these are, in fact, light back and glow back. So there's not one non glow back in here. Very interesting. Let's see if they're all the same print run. D. Yeah, they're all from the there's a D, D, F, C, B. Yeah, so there are different sheets, certainly. I guess that just depends on what makes the difference for the player. But um, All right, so we've got a bunch more packs to go through. I'll see you next time to continue our exploration.